So if you've bought the new Professional Baseball Spirits game, you might be thinking, wait a minute, everything's in Japanese. And yeah, not really any surprise, this is a Japanese baseball game. So wouldn't it be nice if it was actually in a language you could understand? Currently, there's three ways that you could get this translated. The first is learn Japanese, which for most people isn't going to be the easiest or quickest solution. Next, like I'm sure a lot of people use, is using Google Translate, whether it's on your phone or another device. Now this can be handy in a lot of situations, and I do use it myself from time to time, but it's also a massive pain to get my phone out of my pocket and have a look at what the screen's saying every five seconds. That brings us to the third option, which is a screen translator. Now this is basically the same as using Google Translate on your phone, albeit it's not exactly perfect. However, you don't always have to constantly keep getting your phone out, so you can actually just use this instead. One thing I will point out straight away though, and this is primarily for PlayStation 5 users, is that you really do need a second screen for this to work and a PC. If you're playing through the Steam release, then technically you can just follow some of these steps, but just make it do it in-game instead. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your search engine of choice and just type in Mort GitHub into the search engine. The top search option should take you straight to the GitHub page. Here you just want to click on the releases on the right hand side and then after that you want to download the zip file. The next thing to do is install the language packs. You can do this by hitting the Windows key, typing in language to bring up the language settings. Underneath preferred languages you'll see there's an add a language button. Here you just want to search for Japanese and download everything. Without this it won't be able to translate anything on the screen so make sure you don't skip this step. Now that you've got the main two things downloaded you can actually play with some of the settings. Once you've downloaded the file and extracted it to wherever you need it on your computer, you can go ahead and click on the More application to get the program started. It may ask you to install some Microsoft runtime files, these are just things that it needs to be able to actually function. When it does open up, you're going to see a couple windows appear on the screen. You've got the main menu window, you've got a slightly smaller window which is what you actually use to start and stop the translation, and then you're also going to have another window that is actually where the translation will pop out. You can just go ahead and use the quick settings, but to be honest, it's just easier just to go through the individual settings by themselves. In the general tab, make sure that the OCR is set to Win OCR, which is a recommended setting. Underneath that, make sure that the language is set to Japanese. Underneath the translation tab, also make sure that everything is going from Japanese to English, or whichever language you need it to go to. Next, click on additional. Whenever you open and close the program, this is something you're going to have to do every single time. All the other settings you can save as a config file which you can see below, but this one step, do make sure that you redo it. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've gone through the whole, all of these steps and then realised that I've not done this. So make sure Capture in Active Window is ticked, and then you'll see a button underneath that says Specify the window to bring the screen. If you click on this, it's going to come up with all the active windows on your desktop. For me personally, I have the game going through a capture card that's then going through XSplit. You might have it going through OBS or some other program. If you're playing this on Steam then you may need to make the game play in borderless mode rather than full screen or it might not work. I can't say for certain because I play on PS5 and I haven't been bothered to buy a Steam version of this game, but if you do find that it doesn't work on full screen then that's probably your reason. Now the program knows which screen it's looking for to make the translation, so the next thing to do is actually tell it where it should be looking for the translation. If you now click search on the small little remote window, it's going to come up asking you where does it want to capture from. If everything's correct at the moment, the screen which it's going to capture on will have a nice yellow border around the outside. All you then need to do is click on the Add OCR area. Drag this to whichever side you need around the area you want to capture and translate. The best thing about this is, is that you can have multiple of these going at the same time. So say for example that you only want the text box at the bottom where most of the chat is, you can have that. But if you ever need it to translate any of the answers, like you can see that I've got on screen here, then you can have one above as well. Bear in mind though, anything that's included in these two boxes, it's going to constantly keep translating, which I'll go on to in a minute. You can always readjust the areas or get rid of them if need be. Once that's all done, you can finally hit the big orange button that says translate. Hopefully as long as everything's gone right, you should start seeing some of the words translated in the translation box. Now one thing that is slightly annoying is, is that it's going to constantly translate anything in those two areas. What I mean by this is that sometimes the translation will be absolutely fine, and it will just keep the same sentence up. Other times it can get slightly confused and it will keep flip-flopping between maybe two or three different words for one sentence. This is why I wouldn't recommend doing a full screen translation, because it will pick everything and it will constantly keep trying to figure out what any of the words are, which means it will just keep flickering back and forth. It's easier to set up multiple boxes and then that way you can control them individually. If you find that it's not picking up the words correctly, then you might need to decrease or increase the zoom. You can find this on the additional tab. Say you've got bigger text on the screen like you would have in some of the chat boxes, then just keeping it on the default will probably be fine. If you've got smaller text like for some of the stats, you might need to increase it, but usually keeping it around sort of 1.5 to 2 will be absolutely fine. 
Now you can actually change it from the translation being in the box to actually overlaying onto the screen. For you PC players, you might find this actually slightly more beneficial. If you want it to be on top of the words instead of the little text box, then go to translation and then just click overlay. If you're not happy with it, you can always swap it back to layer. If you want the text to look a little bit different, you want it to be bigger, you want to change the colors, then you can find all of those settings underneath text. If you've got it on layer as well, one of the things you can switch off, which I find slightly irritating, is the actual OCR results output. This is mainly because I don't need it to show me the translated Japanese, I just need the translated English. You can also switch these on and off using hotkeys as well. Say you only need it switched on when you're in the menus and then you need it switched off in gameplay, then you can just hit Ctrl, Shift and Z. One handy thing to do as well is when you're happy with all your settings is save a config file which can be found under additional. This way if you ever find that you need to change any of the settings or you can't get back to what you did before and you don't want to start from default, then at least this way you can just reload the last best settings. Now like I said at the start of this, this isn't perfect, I don't claim to say that it's perfect and by no means is it perfect, but Compared to getting your phone out every 5 seconds, this really is actually a lot easier way of playing the game. Sure some of the translations aren't spot on, some of them can actually be pretty hilarious, but for the most part it actually works well enough to play through most of the modes in the game. I've got it set up so the main box it's looking for is, you know, the information at the bottom where you might have the manager or another player try and talk to you. I've then got a second box just slightly above that one that if there's any time when you get multiple choices, it's then able to tell me what those choices are as well if I can't work them out. Worst case scenario, you can always just use Google Translate for those one or two times that you need to get a translation and not have to bother setting up a couple more windows. So if you have the ability of having your PlayStation go through your PC, or if you are playing on Steam, then obviously this is kind of a handy alternative to always getting a phone out. There might be an English patch in the future that may make this completely redundant, but for the time being, there's not that many ways that you can actually play the game where you can understand it easily. And for you PS5 players like myself, you don't really have much of an option either which way, unless Konami decide to bring this worldwide, of which that means I've then got to spend another £60 and also play through the whole game again. So there we go, I hope this means you're able to enjoy Professional Baseball Spirits a little bit better. If you do have any comments or questions, then just leave them below and I'll try and help the best I can. I'm not an expert on this, by no means am I an expert on this whatsoever. However, this is something I've been playing around with for the last sort of 2-3 weeks, and it's kind of helped me out quite a fair bit.